Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com, your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a model launched at Basel World 2014. Rolex Cellini date reference 5519 in rose gold. 39 millimeters in diameter by 12.5 millimeters thick by 45.1 millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs thanks to the short distance from lug to lug this watch wears well on a smaller wrist you can see my wrist 16 centimeters in circumference accommodates it quite well from over the top you can see just how much clearance i have on both sides and you'll note that with a generously domed and sloped case flank this watch really does slide quite well underneath the dress cuff as it should it is a dress watch i can recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 and a half to 14 centimeters in circumference taking a look at the hardware and the software, the software, large rectangular scale alligator leather, high gloss finish. You can see there's a folded edge and a monotone stitch. And on the underside, this is a brand new calf skin underlaid Rolex factory strap. So calf on the bottom, gator on the top, a simple, no nonsense, traditional rose gold polished Rolex pin buckle for quick on the fly adjustments, suitable for a dress watch. Taking a look at the case, the lugs are blended into the case band. There's a lovely curvature to the case. It slopes around, but then it also has a camber from top to bottom. The lugs are dramatically tapered and quite slender in profile when viewed head on. The crown is conical in profile, sharply knurled, and it is a screw down. The watch has 50 meters of water resistance, and the bezel is a combination of coining and polished domed profile. So you have that coining on the edge, and then you have a domed profile immediately adjacent to the curved sapphire. The dial is a black guilloche with a sunray motif. It's not a conventional sunburst dial because it's not a graining laid down by a lapping style machine. It is a deeply grooved sunray on a black gloss galvanized base. You can see the hands as well as the indices and the Rolex crown all made of 18 karat rose gold to resist oxidation and tarnish over time. The hands are alpha style, faceted down their center to make for better contrast with the dial base, you can see that there are two gold chapter rings for the sub-register that displays the date, which has its own sunray motif internally. Now, there is a time zone feature that allows me to change the hour without changing the minute, the date, or the seconds. But if I do turn through the date change, you can see I'm able to adjust the date forward or backwards. This is a traveler's feature. If you need to change time zones, you can do so without otherwise disturbing the time on your watch. And of course, if you pull the crown out all the way, you do have hacking or stop seconds. The case back of the watch is much like a gold dollar coin, a solid disc of rose gold here. You can't see what's inside, but what's inside is a Rolex manufacturer movement, caliber 3165. Automatic winding with bi-directional winding action, 48 hour power reserve, 8 beats per second. It has the time zone and the stop seconds functions. It pivots on 31 joules. It is five position adjusted and a COSC chronometer. It has a full balance bridge with a free spring index for shock tolerance and overcoil hairspring, which allows the watch to keep time evenly in any position. A lot of watches will gain or lose time depending on position with an overcoil that is not a problem. Again, it beats weight 8 beats per second and it uses an overcoil alloy, which is blue oxidized niobium zirconium that further adds to the anti-magnetic resistance of the timepiece. Rolex makes its own dials, its own cases, its own movements. It even smelts its own gold as it has its own foundry. And this is Rolex Everose, which is a more intense red, highly copper-based rose gold that then adds a large percentage of platinum as one of the secondary or tertiary ingredients, which gives it a tremendous resistance to fading over time. Conventional rose gold will start to fade and look more like yellow over time. Ever rose will not. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.